Hey, good evening everybody. Welcome to the sound test room. Today we are taking a look at the ID700 by uh, Modosk, Modosk Designs. Mod Oscillator, I guess. Modosk Designs. And it's based on the Buchler 700 Vintage Digital Synth. Um, so if you're familiar with that, then uh, you'll kind of know the kind of thing. This is very exciting. It's a very exciting synth. Um, because it's capable of very, very l lovely and melodic sounds. And also at the same time, it's capable of just crazy experimental stuff, which is very cool. So here is a patch called Buc Buclavier. Which is lovely. Now I'm I'm gonna tell you straight off. Now I don't know how to program this. It's not a, 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 it's not a you know it's not a virtual analog. So you know it's not my uh, not my vibe, dude. But uh, I can get some nice sounds out of it uh, just by messing around with the various algorithms and stuff like that, as you will see. How much is this pre-order? It's seven ninety nine, Stephen. Hi, Colin. Hi, Stephen. Hi, Andrew. Hi, Paul. Hi, Ivan. Jamie's here. Hi, Jamie. Hozza. Hi, Hozza. So, brilliant sound. Lovely. A couple of things we can do straight off the bat without doing anything. We can mess with the time scaling. We can double tap to reset. We can mess with the algorithm. But before we start playing with the algorithm, if you look at things like the in amplitude index and stuff like this, now there are lots of pages to play with, and in the standalone, it, it kind of opens up full screen and you can mess with various things. Oh, yeah, it's, it's, you, you won't be disappointed if you've pre ordered this. Hi, Jade. Hi, Josh. Hi, Wal. Hi, uh, X Synth. <laughs> so if we play with the indexing on the amplitude. And we can play with the index on a frequency. And the, and the ratio is on oscillator too. You can start to get all sorts of very cool stuff and then hi tom and then you can uh, just change your uh, algorithm to suit uh, you can save your preset but if we just go back to our boot clavier preset you have wave a and wave b and then you have your amplifier here as well now if you go to say wave a you have all these different waves here so we have wave a wave b and then you different oscillators which are you which are modulating those waves if you like and then you have different index sections over here which are basically like your your envelope so your amp envelope for instance you can see the notes are represented by these little dots so so this is basically your we can we can go to point two we can adjust the points here But if you go back to your waves here, we can start to play with the harmon. Now, this is just this one patch, right? You can start to play with the harmonics. And then different indexes. If you understand this, 
we can change different types of wave as well and stuff it's just oh, it's all very nice but even if you don't understand you can still really really dial in some cool stuff so from that really really lovely preset or, or like a preset like this and it's only because i'm in the actual if you look at the preset categories here i'm in the um forte piano preset bank if you like and it's what's nice also as well is that you get a little description of the sound here as well which is also very interesting and cool now it doesn't come with any effects so at the moment you're hearing this completely dry Just my camera a little bit because it looks a bit off uh, off whack to me. Anyway, don't matter. So anyway, like I said, you have all these different preset banks. So we're, this is the, if we look at some of these, it's important to note as well, and, and Jade mentioned this as well, because when I first, I thought it wasn't working properly in standalone, but if we pick, say, this one, well, actually, I think the main... If we go to Adagio and this one, right? If I hit a key, you hear it sustaining, and it's because some of these envelopes are super long 123 seconds. So if you're thinking that your latch isn't working or something like that, then it's it's fine. Eventually, this will all stop. Or you can just start bringing all the different points down. And eventually, what will happen is the sound will stop, of course. So some of these have got really long envelopes to deal with.
beautiful thing. <laughs> Different types of wave. So you can create some very, very strange presets just from messing around with the algorithms and stuff that you've got. It is very cool. But if you want a bookle, this is the way to go. Oh, listen. The amps are very exciting because you can actually physically see what's going on. And then if we want to brighten that sound up again, we look, we've got a filter, but we can go to our Howdy, howdy doody. <laughs> yeah, it's very cool for an ambience and there's no, not even any effects on this yet. So this is... a bug because it wasn't changing preset properly so if I go to um, let's go to gated now wait a sec took my MIDI keyboard out so I close the app So these are the gates I'm in the gated. That's too loud. So. so it sounds like this, of course. benefit from effects of course so maybe um Thank you. 
Nice. Fun to play with the algorithms. So you've got a wave shaper and a wave, like so, this is nice. Yeah, they had like that, they had like a what's a keyboard, didn't they? Like on the uh, Micro Freak, like a um, PCB keyboard. I think this is MPE as well. It's got, it's got uh, some MPE patches, so. So we could just totally, totally change the sound just by changing the algorithm. have an arpeggiator it doesn't have any effects neither so I've got a bit of yes it is AUB3 it doesn't have any effects so I've got a bit of the old ye oldy black hole on there it goes so much fun even though I have no idea what I'm doing it's so much fun.
mais. See, this is a a solid very This is like a, it's a really exciting synth. This is. modulation stuff going on, I don't know. Change the algorithm, eh? Tells you where the MIDI sources of modulation leads to C1. Dean, nice to see you. Yes, we know it, Ian. <laughs> I can tell by the picture. <laughs> Oh, thanks, Leon. Bless you, mate. Seriously, thank you very much. It's Lady Aptitude. Hello, Lady Aptitude. Nice to see you here, too. Bukla, I got you.
insane! I don't even know what I'm doing and it sounds good. Unless it's just messing with a couple of these presets. I don't really know so which preset back pack we're in actually. But you see there's loads, right? It says sequence, but I I'm guessing more it's sequencing the LFOs. But uh and then the, oh let's see some textures. Hey guys, I seriously tell you, it's so exciting this synth is because A it comes with a because loads and loads of presets just for you to have a mess with. Very bored to Canada. Uh, don't forget I've got black hole on it. It doesn't have um See, here's, here's where you'll watch. But you'll see each voice will deactivate when the envelope dies away. So if you've got the really long envelopes, like in that first preset pack, they'll stay on for ages and you'll think to yourself, oh, hang on a minute. It, it latch isn't working, but it is, it's fine. So you, you could hit latch and you could just then go and play around with You could hit latch and, and it doesn't work. Nice to see an output as well. found interesting about this synth when I was first messing around with it and bearing in mind I had no, no clue what I'm doing I'm definitely not anywhere with the you know algorithms and stuff like that so but what I found was that wh whereas it was incredibly interesting for all the experimental stuff that I love it's also capable of all these lovely you know standard sounds with a bit of extra something, I don't know. Thank you, Wall. Thank you. <laughs> I'm seriously considering. I am seriously considering doing a five-day week. I actually did a five-day week last week. I had Friday, Saturday off, most of today. So I am seriously thinking of kind of having Saturdays and Sundays off. So. But then again, you see, it, it really genuinely does depend. If, if people super chat me and stuff like that, that's brilliant because you don't make enough money at this time of year for sure on YouTube. That was Pitch Pen Wheel. So you'll have an awful lot of fun playing with all these different envelopes as well down this side. Pitch 
pitch modulation. Right. Thank you, Mint. Thank you very much. Lovely. Oh, might be a good point to show you the controllers now. As as the envelopes die away, the, these should go out, theoretically. But clearly, I'm not interested in theoretics. <laughs> It works like that. I don't know. Oh, here we go. Look. They do eventually go out. So. There's a very, very slow envelope going on here somewhere. Here we go. seconds on some of these delays uh, releases which is what a sound I must say is it West Coast is it the bootler is it the West Coast West Coast synthesis isn't it East was it East Coast Moog and stuff like that and then Bokler Bo was on where is that is that am I right or is this East Coast it's West East Coast or West Coast I'm not really sure but um, it, they do have a totally different kind of um, sound you know which makes it west coast right Th thanks Walt. Well. thought it was west coast it has a totally different kind of vibe in the way it was designed so i'm playing about i know six notes spread over the whole keyboard And again, we could just go in, basically go back to a different wave. Let's go to a factory wave. Looks like you can import your own as well. So uh, we've got some red waves. Let's watch what happens as the algorithms, as the as the envelopes stop. There you go, awesome stuff. We we'll go to another preset. Maybe try this one. So these are all quite. I mean, there's a lot of these as well. 
Just lush, just, just, just again. It's a, it's another really cool synth for iOS because we're not. I'm already in um, things. Let's see what about oh, we got some seats like randoms. Pretty nice. I made a patch of this. Is I love this whole because it's all. Thanks, Ivan. You are the man. See, to me, this sounds like... Do you remember Witches of Eastwick? The movie. The brilliant movie. Got that real lovely sound. Don't forget to play with all the algorithms as well. <laughs> Hi, George. Did you say it made a random... No, it doesn't... No, there's no randomization button, but you don't really... To be fair, you don't really need one. <laughs> this random... It's <laughs> brilliant. I did actually make my own patch... to random it does doesn't it does Rupert you're right sounds insanely cool oh yeah now this is this is this is a clever sound Just holding two notes here, doing nothing else.
just goes off its head. It's Meg. <laughs> so there's lots of these random ones to mess with. Oh, man. I'm only holding one note. Look, I'll just show you how cool this is. It's out tomorrow, Rupert, but you can pre-order for $7.99. Oh, come on. Oh, how cool is that with black hole on it? So we could actually, if we... Oh, it's like it's like oh god it's like reversing it, isn't it? So it'll be it, it it will be tempo synced to AUM's host door. Certainly is, Russ. However, like I said, you're not just kind of... It's not just about the madness. <laughs> Although the madness is the fun bit. You've got metallic... Uh, phone... 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 phone, 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 phone uh, sound design? What sound design? I don't know. Let's see. This is lovely way. These sounds. How, how brilliant is that?
about 25. It, it, it varies between about 30%, I think. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Change the type of wave on wave B. And Changes the the the, to the whole tone of the actual. Let's change some of the harmonics as well. <laughs> Top stuff. Let's try this one. I have no idea. That's proper dark. Proper, proper dark. So let's see, we've got some sequence, although I don't, it's not really like a, there's no, I can't, there's no arpeggiator in here. But there must be something somewhere. I don't know how they're doing this. Let's have another play a chord. I think it's, Probably doing it with LFOs. quite a few of those sequences uh, loads of stuff T textures again they'll these will have really long envelopes you can look at the 
the envelope settings, obviously, here. You can see, like, the, you have to select the different points. See, there's 32 seconds on point four, point one there, uh, nothing, point two. Also as well, it's a good idea to play with the modulation wheel. And the pitch bend. Lovely. And let's let, okay, so while we're here, in the in the presets let's look at the <clears throat> so you 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 can see there's lots of stuff but let's have a look at the mpe there's a few mpe patches so i'm guessing maybe we could use the on-screen controller for the mpe patches because that's kind of what it do it got after touch do it got after touch well it's got mpe so Panic button, anyway. So we could to kill MIDI. Okay, let's go back to this controller. Polyphonic. So if you were looking at MPE, then yeah, of course you can play. Okay, let's see what we've got. So let's have a look at these. What are these? Tombers. Tombers. If you're enjoying the video, please like strike the like. We shall be we shall be finishing sh very shortly. So that would be very nice of you. Thank you. So again, uh, going from the random stuff to something that's very pleasant. And if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. <laughs>
brilliant guys there you go the id 700 by modosk designs Available to pre-order now for seven ninety nine. I think it's well worth the money. Obviously, I got it for free because this is the <laughs> this is the beta version, um, but it is the release candidate. I think it's out tomorrow, but it's very, very, very nice, and it's a very exciting synth because it's doing things that we're not used to on iOS. You know, so this is very cool. Thank you so much. Bless you all for joining me this evening where we took a look at the synth anyway, the ID700, which is based on the Bukla 700. Thanks to Wal, who reminded me it was West Coast indeed. Oh, Ivan, mate. Thank you. Oh, thanks, mate. I think, listen, that's cool as well. I think it's independent triggering on each key of the LFOs. So if I hit, if I hit them both at the same time, right? But if I hit them independently, see how, see? That's very cool and very clever. So it's 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 uh, independent triggering. Thanks, Paul. Thank you very much, Min Taxis again. Thanks so much, guys. Lovely stuff, lovely stuff. I didn't even. You got your filters here, by the way. Look. Listen to the depth. Depth's insane. Guys, I'm going to let you say tara to each other for a few minutes. We should be back again tomorrow with some more synthesizing shenanigans and stuff like that. Top job, cool beans, brilliant. And thank you all so much for the super chats. You, you don't know what it means to me and Joe. You really don't. It's it's it's, it's massive. Thank you so much. Tata, and I will see you later. Bye.